All right, and welcome to another episode of Half Moon Bay here with me, Tin Vec. And uh, we're going to continue working on this um, uh, this peninsula, as it were, and continue making um, making our roads and hooking everything up to it. So I've been thinking about <coughs> this side road here, and I don't really like it. I mean, I guess I could make it work. To have, an, to have an avenue come around the outside. I'm just not sure that I like it that much. So maybe... No, you know, we'll keep it for now. And we'll, we'll figure out what we want to do with it soon here. If I want to actually keep it or not. But let's... Uh, let's finish off this part. Let's see, we're going to need... Oh, that's right. I need a road coming across the thing here, which means that I'm going to have to back these up to there. Excuse me, just one moment. I have some allergies as usual today, it seems. <laughs> so I'm trying to deal with that as well. Um, anyway, let's back that up to there. And the traffic here is going left to right. So we need one of these. And we want it to be pretty close. Something to the effect of this. Then we can bring these other two across. Uh, one lane, no wait, one lane elevated ramp. And we want it to come across just enough like that. And we'll do the same going back. Mm, it looks pretty close. Not quite enough though. A little more. That should work. Now we just need to do the loop down. Which means that we go out this way. Oops. Let's get that coming straight out of there. Okay, I think we need to come across the, uh, come towards the downside more. <laughs> I don't I don't know which way to, to call that. But we need this to come this way just a little more. Like that. There we go. Now we should be able to get the nice loop going down the way that we're expecting. There we go. Oh, and we don't need to have time running. And then I think we're going to do the same. We're going to actually do a loop from the outside connecting to this one. Too close to what existing intersection? This is it not like being so close to that one? Yeah. There we go. That's too shallow though. And that's way too big. You know, in fact, it, I don't actually have to connect to this road because I'm actually going to want to have it uh, going the other way. Oh, I'm sorry. Just a moment. I have to answer a call.
I apologize about that. That was my wife calling, so pretty much had to answer that. <laughs> um, in any event, let's get this thing actually hooked up the way that we want it to. Let's see, from right about here. It's coming out way too big. There we go. Mm, let's see if we can get it a little closer. Oh, I like that. Pretty sure I like that. Yeah, that looks good. So then, we can take this part off. And connect the road down here. Much like that. Then we can take this part out. Fix these couple little issues. Ooh, that got really harsh. Keeps messing with this road back here too. There we go. There. Now we have a little exit interchange. And then we just need to hook it up here. In fact, if I can get it into the same spot as the other one, that might be nice. As the, the one that comes off. Mmm, that looks like it's really going to mess with the freeway, or with the, the look though. So let's just do it a little bit beforehand. I'm going to do the same over here. Uh, let's try to do this without making a mess of the interstate, or the <laughs> whatever this is, avenue. There we go. I do apologize for any allergy-related sounds today. I'm trying to keep it off the microphone. It doesn't always work as planned. So now that we have these in, let's figure out where we want this avenue to actually go. I'm thinking we have it go basically along this coastline something like this I kinda like that actually except let's do it a little bit straighter along here and then have it come in oh come on there we go then have it come in like this Then of course we'll try to make a nice smooth transition in there, or curve into the, where we're going here. Much like that. Okay. And then I think we're gonna we're gonna need to do a similar thing with this side, as far as connecting it to the avenue. Back that up just a little bit. Put an avenue straight across here. Like this. Yeah, that should work. And then I will 
probably need to probably need to back those up a little bit more, but let's draw the other part first. Oh, and before I forget and have to do this again later, put one of these in. out to about there. That should work. Get it the same length. There we go. And then, yeah, we're we can take this off, but this is going to have to come back, so. Oh. And I actually need to even those up so that they match. So that way we get the similar slopes between everything. So we get a slope up there, and a slope down there. Look at that. Almost like I know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to need this, I just want something to make sure that everything is like the same spot, or, or at least very close. Much like that. Because we won't, we won't actually need that one going underneath. But I will need to do these right hand turns over here. Like so. Yeah, that'll work. And then this one's going to need to be coming back. Let's see if I can do it in a way that stays flat. Like that, maybe? No, we still get a lump there. That should work. And then, of course, we need to make corner or you know, nice curves out of these. How many did I do on the other one? Two? Yeah, I probably did two. There we go. And there's that one. Curve it up. And let's connect these. That's the first straight one, so then we're going to take this out.
think I need to extend that road some in order to make that work. And why it does this, I don't know. Because it didn't do it on the other side. Okay. Let's try again. If I make it wrong, it works. <laughs> well, okay. Let's just straighten this out then. If I can. It's not a hundred percent pretty, but it works. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. And let's take this one and transition down. Much like that. And then I think I'm actually gonna need to increase the length on this. Excuse me. Come on, I just want this to line up. There we go. So, okay, yeah, so my mute button does work. I thought, I thought for some reason I had broken that, but it does work. There, now you don't have to hear when I have to blow my nose. Which I'm sure we can all be happy about. That should work. It actually looks kind of cool. Cool. And then from here... We'll just make a curve like this. Only a little bit, there we go, shallower. hooked up then and I'll just need to lengthen this a little bit to hook in the other thing in fact I'll put it in right there I wonder why it keeps wanting to do this now. It, it never used to. There we go.
and there. Now we just hook this part up. Oh, and we get a little broken spot there, huh? Okay, let's try to rehook that up. There, now it says in break the road. So here's an initial start. Now how do I want to do this part? Do I want to have the avenue come back up here and over the top? Could work. Let's try it here. So we could actually do something like this. And then we'll get that about as close as I can to here. Oh, actually I could connect it and then take off what I want. There we go. There. Now coming into the city, there's a nice bridge that is too sharp for my life. Let's try this again. Okay, let's move back just a little more. There we go. That looks much better. Especially coming in, whoops, coming into town, that'll look a lot cooler. Yeah. For sure. So now we just need to, let's see, why don't I just actually take this straight up and then we'll just make corners out of it, like normal. Yeah. But I think we're going to make really big corners. Yeah, that should work. So the entrance freeway is going to come through a couple buildings, <coughs> entrance and exit freeway, whatever, and then they can get off and go whichever way they need to go. Yeah, that should work out. The only thing I don't like right now is that the Udon pylons are still there for this lower road. It would be very cool if they weren't. And knowing that they are there like that, I may just take that road out and do something else and just use these roads that go 
sideways. In fact, let's set that up now. So yeah, then let's take these roads out. That should work. We are going to need to connect these, however. this side as well. Well, thank you, Bacon Destructor. Try to make it look nice. I'm just kind of kind of freestyling some stuff here, too, because I, I mean, I have an idea of where I'm going, but well, I'm basically I've made it, so from here on out, <laughs> I'm kind of just making stuff up. What do I do back here? Maybe I should make this a gambling city and put my casinos along this row. Which would mean maybe I should put the... Put some landmarks in here? That's a good question. Why don't you... Why are you still without road access? Well, the rest of these have road access. Maybe it just needs to figure itself out. Like if I let it run for a minute, it might actually start working. Yeah, there it goes. And then we should actually, while I have it running here, we should uh, buy some stuff from our other, from our neighbors. There we go. Then we have power and stuff. Do we already have people coming in? All right. So we can see very well that our interchanges work just fine. And of course we can build Town Hall now. Which I'm going to hold off on because I don't know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> well, thank you, Bacon Destructor. Well, I certainly hope my mute button is working, because otherwise you guys are having to listen to me blow my nose, and I'm, um, I apologize if you hear that. So, now, we, now that we have all these people in the ferry, they're not actually, there's no ferries going by, which is funny, because it's like, oh, okay, I, I guess it's just filling in the jobs. But I guess this is going to be kind of a kind of a grid city up here, up in the upper part, because that's just going to be where people live and stuff. So let's start with that. We're going to need a high density square. I think they're all exactly the same. Yeah, they should all be exactly the same size. I want one high density square building spacing. And 
And then we'll do the same on this side. Should work. And then we'll do, let's see. I'm not sure if I want to do two wide on these or what. So suppose they're already two. Yeah, they're two this way. So I can make blocks, like actually full square blocks. Do a square city. Yeah, that'll work out. But I think we can do one more in here. Oh, that's weird. Like it, it's like it cut the road in there, but it didn't do anything. Really weird. Well, I guess I won't be quite connecting that then. I think <clears throat> I think it's time to start yeah let's start zoning here and we need pretty much everything so let's just start with low wealth and which way is our wind going because we're gonna need some industrial as well which I may end up just kind of taking up in this corner Although we don't have a ton of room. We'll see what I end up doing there. Let's start working on the people first though. We need quite a few low wealth. And those are going to be on the right hand side since that is the, uh, the way the wind is going. And I want them to face the inside. There we go. I'm just kind of going down the line, getting different ones, making sure they're all looking good, which they seem to be. Let me 
just start over. Suppose we should let that grow in here. <laughs> Thanks, Bacon Distractor. Like I say, I hope it all actually ends up working out here. I'm trying to basically straighten up some of this stuff with worker shortages and all that good stuff. Let all these grow in here. Then we'll see where we're at for population. Because I may spend a little bit of time um, after this. I might jump over to the other cities and try to straighten out a little bit of their uh, their demands with industrial and, and stuff. So just to try to clean this up a little bit, try to get it more even. There we go. Now you can see our... Uh, Low wealth is going to drop a lot because we're going to use them up. Of course, they're going to be uh, unemployed <laughs> for a while until they figure out how to get work, get to work and stuff. Oh, and I suppose in the meantime, I can put in a uh, some of this low wealth commercial. Whatever I can fit in the in-between spots. Go back to. Well, I suppose this was the first one, huh? Oh. Okay, so only a skinny one will fit there. Wait. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there's a really skinny one. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. I must not have uh, made that part right. That's okay, we'll put one of these in there. Oh, you can see we still need lots of low wealth in the region, man. On the positive side though, our interchanges are working great to get people in and out of the city really fast. We're at a building fire. <laughs> what is that? Graffiti already? Wow, there's a lot of crime, like, instantly. You see the graffiti and shit? Yeah, crime just shot up. That's crazy. I've never seen that. I suppose we can put our uh, police precinct somewhere then. I was thinking about putting it down here, but maybe it should actually go like right in here. Like that. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Cause then the, the overpass kind of goes over a little bit. Yeah. little deals on. There we go. These other ones will get moved back into, hopefully.
but lots and lots of traffic there now. And now our boats are really swinging into gear. Wow, look at all those people trying to get to the, to the ferry. Are they all just going to the ferry? It seems so. That's crazy. Yeah, we just slammed 50,000 people into the city, basically. We just... Here you go. <laughs> and it looks really cool with the uh, the buildings coming up through the, the two sides of the freeway coming in. I think that looks really cool. Because you're like driving out of town, you're driving by the buildings like that. Uh, yes, Bacon Destructor. This is probably going to be a casino city. I don't know why, but on this particular map, I happen to like to make casino cities. Maybe just because it's a coastal area like that, but for some reason, I tend to make casino cities on this map. You know, it looks like we're getting a little bit of hold up at the intersection here because it does actually make an intersection. It doesn't seem too bad. It's mostly just people coming into the city that have to wait a second usually. Yeah, and they don't even have to wait that long. So we're fine there. This all seems to be going good. Let's jump over to these other cities here and fix some of those. I think we'll be able to help those cities out quite a bit. So what do we have going on here? This city needs, like, everything. And really, I mean, I've, I've basically filled the city out, apart from over here, which is really supposed to be only school. That kind of sucks. This city's actually already set up. I can't really cram any more buildings in there, I don't think. But again, the interchanges work really, really well. You can see from everybody coming in and going around and whichever way they need to go to whatever they need to get to. <laughs> yeah, it's all working out pretty nice over here. So you know what? I don't think I'm going to mess with this city. We'll go over to the other one and change that one. Republic of Glomtopia. Now this one, this one is where we need to make sure we have high density buildings. Which don't seem to be able to get in there. That's weird. Oh, maybe because there's buildings already there? it's not letting me do it? No, because oh, it's only letting me place in the commercial? That's weird. What if I do this? No, nope, it'll only let me place in the commercial. Okay. That's so weird.
Yeah, it'll totally let me do them over here. Ooh, I wonder if that'll work out. Or if the building will come through it. Uh, it might catch some of the parking lot there, so that might actually look good. Come on, there we go. Face the way I want you to. So this city is going to help take care of some of the medium wealth that we need. Let's check this here too. Do we have... No, we're still doing our research. Okay. We do still have some industrial demand in the region. So maybe we'll start trying to fill that with some of this. Um, industrial... There we go. so much nicer when you can just plop these. Like, it's really handy. There we go. Now, this city will run out of money soon because it's not making money. I'm going to have to send it some money. <laughs> but again, very good on getting people in and out of the city. That happens to be the uh, advantage of using Udon, so excellent. I believe for the moment, though, we're going to call this an episode. Uh, my allergies are really getting the better of me. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed watching, you can follow me live uh, uh, when, I, when I go live <laughs> at twitch.tv slash tinvec. And uh, you can always catch stuff after the fact on YouTube. I put that up at youtube.com slash tinvec. And I've got a website, uh, tinvec.com. It's kind of a theme there. So <laughs> if you want to catch all my stuff there, you can see it there too. Uh, but again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.